Good morning. I'm on the Thames Bank in Putney and I'm going to be heading into uh, London for the well, for first day where non-essential retail shops and the like are opening up, which basically means you get to see the comic shops of London. Haven't seen them since, well, not this year, December the 28th when it all closed down before. Um, as you can see, it's quite sparse out. There's not, not, not many souls out and about, just myself at the moment. It'll get a bit busier probably as we get in a bit closer. Come and have a look. Getting a little further along. Um, it's really rather pleasant out. It looks quite grey and wet and it was snowing earlier. But uh, right now, it's safe. Feeling good. And down by um, Battersea Power Station. There's a couple few more stalls around but it's still pretty empty. There are some more, some more boats on the Thames though. I can't explain it, couldn't ever wanted to, but just outside of uh, MI5, MI6, etc, um, the sun started to come out. Snow this morning, sun this afternoon. England. Glorious sunshine, absolutely insane. And there we go, uh, just outside Downing Street, where Boris will be going for his uh, pint and his trim a little bit later today. Anyone uh, for ice cream? Okay, just taking a little potter down Greek Street. Park the cycle. Just see a few old favourite places. Be a little bit possibly over optimistic, but that's good. A little bit of optimism. No, did anyone harm at the moment? So I'm going to wander down to Cambridge Circus. You see people lining up for hairdressers, which are now open. Not everything is yet. And Soho is always a good place for the media to turn up into their own little reports. As you can see, they're getting away with it. Harry, Harry Potter is, uh, as you can see, still closed. Although people seem to be congregating anyway. I quite like that. And as you can see, starting to get a little bit busier. Not overly so, but a little bit. But you can see where some people have been doing their shopping already and that's exactly where we're heading now and here we are I'm a little bit muffled now because I've got my mask on already for the first time this year to go into a forbidden planet as you can see it appears to be a little bit busy in there and as you can see lots and lots of full baskets and lots and lots of people but I'll be heading downstairs the familiar staircase which has not been trodden upon these last three months let's go take a look and you can see a lot of mastage going on and even this week's comics I was hoping to get the uh, new Bad Idea comics from Forbidden Planet I think it's the only store that stocks them in the UK, but um, either ENIAC or Tankers, but sadly they don't seem to have any in stock, not yet anyway at least, uh, but I did get a nice little promo, so I've got a bad idea promo, and that's for free. And uh, coming out, there's still quite a line of people waiting to get in, as uh, ever the store is still being very socially distanced. Let's go find another. And now we're outside uh, O-Space, Orbital Space. Which is its own um, barista and music tracks. Let's go find out what we can see inside. Of course, uh, Orbital has transformed in recent times. We've got the uh, galleries, got the record store, as well as the long back lists with back issues. So many. And uh, barista hard at work. Out. A bit of a rock as well. There we go. So that's how our uh, orbital's looking. And now we're going to just whiz over and take a check at Gosh. And at the other end of Old Covenant Street, take a little walk. Should be able to get just through to find Gosh Comics. With the slightly, uh, <laughs> possibly the only really remaining slightly dodgy part of uh, Soho. 
him. Well, it looks like the massage parlors are open. Whether you wear a mask or not, I'm not entirely sure. Take a wander down. No, wrong way. <laughs> That's one of these things. I haven't been here in uh, three and a bit months. And suddenly my bearings start to lose it. Right, let's go take a look. Oh, and yes, the sex shops are open as well. So there we go. Let's take a quick trip up and around the corner. Markets are out on Barrack Street. And look at that. Gosh Comics has a queue. It's been open for a little while yet, a little while now. And Gosh Comics has a proper line. I see the maximum of 13 customers in store. And all the people waiting up. Looks like I'll get in the back. And here we are from the back of the queue. It takes a little while. And we have found our way inside Gosh Comics. I said we've got a nice little line. And they're keeping it all very nice and socially distanced in here. Which of course is good and very viable. And uh, I've got a bunch of comics. Um, some of which by Alan Moore. Including this one which... You know, just because it's published by Avatar Press doesn't mean I get comp copies or anything. So I picked up the new uh, Cinema Purgatorio. Which is also... Look with a book plate signed by Alan and Kevin, which is always good. So, comic shops are open in England. And I'll take my mask off in just a minute. So there we have it. A bunch of uh, nice comic books. A bunch of nice comic shops. Open in London. Uh, I'm off for a drink. I think I'll be heading to uh, Piranha Comics out in Kingston tomorrow. But for now, yeah. I think I'm going to find someone. Uh, and I'll find him. We're going to go for a drink. We haven't seen each other for quite some time either. So, see you later. And now I find myself uh, in on Fifth Street um, with a nice drink with a few friends and uh, having a drink in Soho, which is kind of what it's all about, isn't it? I think so. Cheers.